guys so I thought that um I would film something really quickly I've just got back from work which is why I have no makeup on but also my skin is really dry and I'm feeling really rubbish still as you might be able to tell from my um you know coldy manly voice um but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a series that I'm going to be doing it's a continuous series and I'm going to be calling it um quick review sessions so if you see qrs and then the name of a product in a youtube title video on my channel then that is what it's going to be and they're going to be quicker um shorter more informative videos um just on singular products um so today's product is going to be the rimmel stay matte powder which looks like this mine is the shade 005 silky beige <clears throat> and I'm just going to review it for you basically really quickly um it's a pressed powder as you can see it has nice slim packaging this hasn't cracked on me I've had it for a while um and I've actually been loving it so much that I've switched from my MAC mineralized skin finish I don't touch that now um I really like the MAC ones and I find that they give extra coverage, which is nice, um, but I don't really need that and they are very expensive. Although they last a long time, they are very expensive. This is 14 grams of product, it's 3 99 and it claims up to 5 hours natural shine control with natural minerals. Helps minimise the appearance of pores. Now I don't have big pores so for that part I cannot speak. Um, but I can say that for someone who has combination skin, I do get quite oily in my T-zone and sort of more normal, occasionally a little bit dry on my cheeks. This does last the full five hours on me and no powder really has lasted that long on me before. Um, it doesn't look cakey on the skin. It doesn't look like you've put a lot of powder on. And it feels almost like a loose powder, like a loose translucent powder. It's so fine, even though it's pressed, it makes your skin feel really smooth and it doesn't really add anything to it. And I don't feel like, other than mattifying a little bit where you need it, I don't feel like it changes the whole kind of finish of your foundation, if that makes sense. Um, so I think this is a great product and it appears to deliver on all of the things that it claims to me. Um, and for 3 99 I really don't think you can go wrong. Um, I mean, this is what it looks like. It just looks like your average kind of powder. And I'll just swatch it for you so you can see. And although they have seven shades, this is the only letdown to me. I mean, that looks really, really light. But to be honest, it doesn't really deposit any kind of colour. So... I don't think shade matching yourself, unless you have dark skin, is really a huge issue because, for starters, they only have seven shades. And this is my only complaint, is that they have seven shades. Of those seven, none are for darker skin tones, um, other than the one that is called transparent. Now, we all know that transparent or translucent powders can look really ashy on darker skin tones so whether it's actually even appropriate for darker skin tones is you know I don't have a clue to be honest because I'm not of that skin tone I can't say whether it's going to look nice on a darker skin tone or whether it is going to look ashy so if anyone does know um, then feel, to, feel, feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know because um, if that doesn't work for darker skin then Rimmel is a bit of a letdown because it hasn't catered for any kind of medium or darker skin tones really um, But other than that, I love this If you are looking for a powder that's cheap, this is readily available You get a decent amount of product They are often doing, you know, three for two or something in Superdrug if you're here in the UK I'm sure there's deals on in America and elsewhere um, and I just think it's fabulous. It's actually replaced my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish now. It looks far more natural on the skin. It keeps, you know, it does everything I want it to. And it's way, way cheaper than the MAC. 
So I um, thoroughly recommend this and I hope that this was helpful for you all. If you want to see a written review then I have one on my blog which I shall link below for you. So um, if you like the sound of this series then give this a thumbs up to let me know that you'd like to see more videos like this. And once again apologise for the frog throat but I'm still sick. And I hope you're all happy and healthy and I will see you in the next one. Okay bye.